to two armor very, very quickly by Quaco. Quaco uh, was the hotshot in Wednesday's games for uh, Epsilon, now called Pyrogen. If, uh, if you've been following us along, uh, you will have seen that. Epsilon and Pyrogen are the same team. They did just change names on us, so uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but either way, uh, it's Pyrogen now, not Epsilon, so I'm gonna have to try and hold my tongue every time I wanna say it. EP down to only one armor now. Yeah, and he hasn't been able to pick off any of the defenders yet, and the goal is now capturable, but doesn't matter because uh, he is eliminated by YP. so it uh, looks like Yeep, or I, uh, Yeep he was eliminated. I'm sorry, <laughs> hybrid, what is a Jaha? Uh, huh? What is a Jaha? What is a Jaha? What is a Jaha? Hybrid, what is a Jaha? Yes. Yeah, uh, he actually eliminated Yeepy. Quaco is attacking in now. Second attacker for Pyrogen from Sweden. Going to be trying his best to get in there. And actually, all these guys uh, have the French flag, but Quaco is clearly from Sweden, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I'm not actually sure if, if uh, all the players are French or Swedish. Or Could be what. a French team. That's just yeah. who they represent. So True. All right. And Eclipsia is posting up their normal locations. They have a French and a Dutch nice. player at least. And Quaco taking out the fam, giving him a good opportunity. Two uh, defenders taken out. Still three armor remaining. That puts him in a great position. There nice. he goes, actually finishing off that last defender, Quaco, with a very strong attacking round to get Pyrogen rolling. Yeah, so Pyrogen uh, does actually take a pretty good advantage here. If you guys are joining us for the first time, you play to six points, but you have to win by two. So teams are... Um you know, usually when teams are evenly matched as well, they'll trade defensive points. So whoever grabs that attack round truly gives your team an advantage. All right, strengths moving forward through that left archway. Quaco, Hybrid, and Sparko all playing defensively back at the point. We haven't seen any rushes uh, yet defensively. This is a map that's actually pretty good for that as uh, every exit point basically comes out at the same distance from the goal. And you can kind of post up uh, way up there at that point to try and take out the attacker. Strikes taking two shots from Sparko. That's a third. Oh. And Sparko is a defensive superstar already, landing something like five rockets. Uh, oh, well, three, just <laughs> sorry. Uh, I got confused because Strengths hit Sparko twice with rockets. Yes. Uh, so I, I credited Sparko with his own, uh, you know, his own damage. Nice. Yep. Uh, either way, Hybrid attacking in now for Pyrogen. He is going to be their third and final attacker before the uh, roster sort of resets, and we'll see uh, Sparko again. Okay, well, Hybrid has uh, successfully made his way through the tunnels without taking any damage, and he is going to try and jump up on the, uh, well, maybe jump up on the defensive <laughs> position there. Try and steal an easy shot. Uh, he is being pinged from the side, but nothing's really hit him yet. Whoa, narrowly avoiding all those rockets. Okay, so there's, there is an Eclipsia player playing back by the tree in the uh, rear uh, behind the goal, and it looks like... Uh, he's going to have to try and do a little bit of a dance here with, I believe that was Yeepy on the right side. Yes, yes it yep. is. And Yeepy has the benefit of just shooting those blind rockets if Hybrid walks into it, then he can only blame himself. A couple of seconds remaining, Ooh. but it looks like he gets a rush down by Strengths from behind and gets taken out. So far, though, Pyrogen, the only team to successfully take an attacking round, and Lakeum needs to uh, be able to successfully attack here to get Eclipsia back into sort of a tied state. And we've seen that he actually is a pretty clutch attacker as well. Even though he's the last guy, and you usually put your weakest attacker up last, um, he's actually kept Eclipsia in a couple of rounds when they were down um, something like, you know, 5-4 going into the last round where he had to attack and successfully get it. And as we see there, he picks off a very, uh, very good shot to begin the round. Yeah, he's off to a great start, and only two defenders remaining. Quaco playing the point, that's always kind of dangerous because there's nowhere to run um, from that position. If Lakeum does rush down and try to spin around really quick around the pole, uh, that defender's not going to have anywhere to go quickly to uh, take more cover. So already in kind of a tough position there. Uh, Sparko playing that hill is in a little bit better position, and as Lakeum needs to move in toward the goal, uh, he needs to pick off a defender. There he does, so he has a great shot at being able to finish this off. Only eight seconds left on the clock if he can shoot Quaco or stand on the cap. It looks like he will not no. get the goal capture. Oh my goodness, that last rocket. Uh, came in just a millisecond before that uh, goal was captured. Great defense there. I can't believe that. That was super duper close. That was a little ridiculous. And Sparko now on the attack with his team at a 4-2 advantage. Because we've gone through six rounds, each player has attacked once. And we're back around to the primary attackers once again. But Sparko already taking a point of armor loss there. And uh, not a good way to start the round. 
Okay, so already Sparko losing a point of armor. He was the successful, no, he was not the successful attacker. Excuse me, Quaco was. Uh, he was the first attacker for Pyrogen and just could not quite get it to, uh, to work out for him. He needs to try and find a defender just to make his uh, situation a little bit more fair, a little bit more even at only two armor against three defenders. That's gonna be really rough. And now only one armor remaining. These defenders can be really free with their movement and just try to get him finished off. There they do. Sparko goes down, blue wins the turn. Eclipsia is attacking in again now with Yeepy. Yeah, but Yeepy still needs to land an attack round here in order for this to be tied up. If you guys are just joining us, of course, as you've seen, we've had seven rounds and six of those have been defensive successes. So uh, it's usually a little bit easier for the defenders to take a round and EP now needs to bring things back here for Eclipsy. Otherwise, we're going to get very close to match point, or map point, I should say. Yep, EP looking for a free defender. Archways is pretty tough at the first sort of uh, part for the attackers. It gets somewhat easier as uh, as you can eliminate a defender and move closer to the goal. But this part is really tricky because the defenders do have the high ground. They've got all this cover that you can work with. You basically have to get to this point oh, typically wow. uh, before defenders start showing themselves. And Quaco gets taken out uh, with a great shot from EP. He's going to try and show some patience here, and Sparko takes advantage of that, actually clipping him on the left side. Only one armor left for Yippee. Okay, so now he's got to start trying to assault the point, though. It's two defenders left and uh, just one point of armor. A few spam rockets being thrown out there, and he almost gets picked off initially, but then Sparko does finish him off with one more rocket, and it's a 5-3 advantage. Map point now for Pyrogen, and the uh, only successful attack round that's been taken so far is by this guy who's on the attack. Yep, Pyrogen, Quaco. If he can make it happen again, he can seal this first game for his team. If not, uh, they will just need to defend successfully one more time and they have done it successfully every time, so don't see why that shouldn't happen. Let's see if Quaco can move forward and pick someone off before getting into that sort of uh, stalemate situation where, you know, you're stuck behind a ton of spam rockets and the defenders don't give you any more looks. Quaco just going to try and assault this hill and try and get a quick Ooh. look, and he, it pays off for him, and Quaco, he's on today. Quaco rushed down on that hill was really good, and now he's at a great advantage because he's got both defenders in front of him. He can, oh, maybe get an open shot on Strengths, but great shots there from EP and Strengths uh, kind of ward him back, and wow, look at that Strengths finishing the round, and Eclipsia saving themselves for the time being, but they absolutely must get this attacking round with Strengths to keep this map going. That's right. If Strengths loses, it will be a 6-4 in favor of Pyrogen, and uh, that uh, does meet the conditions for victory. Six points and winning by two, so the map will be over, and we'll move to uh, Eclipsia's choice after that. All right, we'll see uh, which route he's going to choose. It looks like it is going to be the caves. Unfortunately for Strengths, already taking that prediction rocket on his uh, escape of that tunnel. That's going to set him behind already. If he loses one more point of armor, uh, then Pyrogen will be able to basically just rush down and try to finish him off. And uh, this could be a quick map loss for Eclipsia, a little bit surprising already. Uh, so Strengths evening things up, taking out the first defender. Ooh, taking out the second defender in a very, very great last second shot. He's going to hop on the cap and force Sparko to try and come to him. He's got lots of he uh, mobility to. here. He can wait on the point. Sparko uh, trying to inch his way closer. Look at that. The cap is now open and Sparko successfully wards Strengths off of the point. Only wow. one armor. We've got a showdown for this last map oh. and Strengths does the job. Wow. Strengths with a great attacking round there uh, to get Eclipsia back into it. And uh, it looks like Hybrid is going to try and get an attacking round now. Okay, so things are all tied up. A very clutch round there from Strengths to keep Eclipsia in this map. And uh, as, you know, it, it says here that there's a points limit of eight. That's just a server limitation. Our points limit for the tournament is actually 20. So uh, it will actually go much longer than that if these teams keep trading defensive rounds. Yep, if the map automatically ends, then we will probably just hop servers and, and start with an assumed score of, you know, eight to seven or whatever it actually is at that point. Uh, we'll see, uh, you know, there are still some rounds here for uh, both Pyrogen and Eclipsia to try and take successful attacking rounds so that we don't get to that point. But Hybrid already down to one armor, not gonna happen for him. <laughs> All right, well, he uh, he met, he does fall there, and uh, back to Lakayam now, who actually started pretty well with an attack round last time, but, uh, you know, or started strong, I guess I should say, landing a quick 40-meter hit, but, you know, really started to taper off after that. 
All right, as he comes through that right archway, he's going to want to use that speed pad on the ground to try and uh, sort of fly through here. He's saving all his stamina. There he goes, making that jump between those spam prediction rockets and, uh, you know, making his way up the middle. Going to look for that open defender once more. On the left side, he could do what uh, Quaco did earlier, that little rushdown technique, but no, Epsilon Pyrogen actually uh, rushing him down as he gets caught sort of between the spawn and the hill. It's actually very hard to get back up out of there. Um, you can't just turn around and jump back onto the uh, defensive spawn area. It's a little bit too tall, so you have to run up the hill some before you'd be able to even turn around. Uh, so that's a little bit tough. Eclipsia taking their defensive position. Sparko uh, really needs to try and make it happen here if we're going to hit that uh, eight points. Um, in time. We're already in extra rounds. Yes, which could happen. These teams are very evenly matched, it appears, as uh, they haven't really seen a lot to differentiate these guys. Now, of course, their lasers may still be warming up, and we may see someone start to kind of emerge. Uh, but it's been a pretty defensive battle so far. Nice shot. Great shot. 29 meters to start things off for Sparko. Okay, he's moving forward. We've got that situation again where the two defenders are in front of him. Sparko picking up another great shot there against EP. Strengths, if he can have another miracle defense, we'll see if he's up to the task or not. Two points of armor already taken off, and the third wow. armor. Strengths is just so clutch there, uh, preventing preventing the map from ending initially and having two just amazingly good uh, defensive rounds as the last man standing. So uh, really good there from Strengths. And it looks like if Yip can actually take the successful attacking round, we will uh, just have the map be over. He's really going to try and make it happen here. That's right. So Yip avoiding, oh, 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 uh, oh. I was about to say, all the spam rockets, but he takes one to the face right as he jumps over the uh, the initial ones. Yeah, that was rough. He thought he was free and clear after already dodging that sort of uh, initial salvo and then just that last hanging rocket uh, hit him on his way down. He could have actually just not jumped and just fell down and might not have gotten hit, but now he evens the odds. Oh, Quaco is a little bit open, but the laser was still just about recharged. EP needs to take out two more defenders here if he's going to win the map for Eclipse here right now. Okay, Hybrid, and uh, let's see here. Oh, actually, Yippee's just going to go around the side. Hybrid now finally starting to move up to Assault. Both those look like they were buried to hit Yippee, but somehow he stays alive. Man, he can't get any of these open shots because his laser is recharging. One more shot would do it. He's going to hop on the goal anyway. No, he's not going to hop on the goal. He went for the shot and couldn't get it. Uh, Yippee, time expiring there means the defense wins the round, and Quaco is back up to bat for uh, Pyrogen. And we are tied 7-7, seven to seven, so it looks like we're going to hit that uh, round limit yep. or that point limit one way or another, regardless of whether Quaco takes this or not. It will not decide who's the winner of this map. Okay, so Quaco moving forward, going to take one shot very quickly, and uh, I think Eclipse is already on pace to take this map defensively. Again, it only takes three lasers, though, for Quaco to end the round uh, with a success. So, uh, you know, it could still go either way. We've seen uh, comebacks before. We've also seen attackers, you know, get down to that last defender and still not be able to what? finish the job. He hit him through the uh, through the little slats. There are some open areas actually above the base of the goal that uh, if you're jumping and you have, you know, vision down at them, if you're on top of a hill or something like that, you can actually shoot through there. Uh, so that is something to be aware of. You can't always just hide behind the point. Quaco down to only one armor now. Ooh, only one defender. Ten seconds left on the cap. It's going to be Yippee this time, not Strengths. We'll see if he's got what it takes to finish the job. Nope. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Quaco does take it, and uh, that's a, another attack round in the bag for Quaco, who's really proving to be an all-star here. Okay. And, okay, it looks like the, the map is still going. going. Okay, and all we need now is a defensive round from Pyrogen, and they will take the map. Okay, so... That's a relief. We don't actually have to restart and yes. have an assumed score because that's always kind of a headache. Uh, Eclipsia strengths uh, attacking in now. And I just realized actually on our scoreboard, Pyrogen and Eclipsia uh, need to be swapped over because, uh, yeah, that, the team names are wrong on red and blue. Uh, but Strengths will be attacking him for Eclipsia, try and get them right back in. He did have that clutch attacking round uh, to extend the map into extra rounds, so he definitely has a chance here. Okay, well, Strengths... Uh Looks like he's trying to get position on the right-hand side. There's a difference from most of the attackers have tried to roll up the left and go up that Ooh. hill to start things off. Hyper going to try and take advantage of the uh, laser recharge time there and pick off a shot, but can't quite land it. 
Okay, Strength still looking for the first defender pickoff and actually losing a point of armor with the cap open and looks very, very unlikely oh, no. now falling back down. He's just got not enough time to be able to even fire two lasers, let alone successful hits, so Strength is going to fall. And Pyrogen takes the first map, 9-7. to seven. That's right. So uh, Pyrogen takes the first map. We're going to move to the second one here in just a second. It will be Eclipsia's choice. Yep. So we're going to run to a commercial break, trying to get everything sorted out as far as the server goes, and we'll be back for map number two.